Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock. This is Captain's Vlog. If you've watched the last couple of episodes of Captain's Vlog, you know that we are in Pisa for the winter in the shipyard. Now finally, they managed to chock up a wall here inside this huge, massive hangar where we'll spend the next six months. So I'm going to show you how they chock it up, where she's been uh, placed. She's nice and cozy in the corner. And as previously mentioned on other videos, the reason we like to put it in the hangar for the winter, it prolongs the life of the paint. It's better, it's better for the boat in my, in my opinion. Uh, you know, you're not getting any delays, any works due to weather. So all the contractors and crew can carry on their jobs as normal through the winter months. We got, you know, lighting when it gets dark. You know, we can close the, sh the hangar door. The wind picks up or it's too rainy. And I'm uh, gonna go show you guys now what it looks like. So as you can see, we're inside the giant hangar here. We've got this beautiful classic yacht next to us. We got a quick tour of this. So some of the jobs we're gonna be doing, uh, we've got a bit of um, warranty work to do with the paint. So we're gonna do a little bit of sanding, some touch up work. Uh, we had a Euro Colour who painted our boat come on board yesterday and we did a full tour of all the paint with three of their representatives and they were actually really understanding and really helpful so very happy with their, with their feedback and in fact they saw a few um, deficiencies or you know mistakes in the paint that we didn't even see um, so they actually pointed them out so we're going to fix this, we're going to fix that so really happy with that uh, if you're asking why we've got this um, tape around, it's just to block off areas people aren't allowed to go without harnesses. So the health and safety here is in, especially here in Polonautic, in, not in Polonautic, especially here in the uh, Seven Star Shipyard, it's quite, it's very strict, which, which is great to see. And you can see maybe there, we also have the chase boat down just over there, the tender to, to AWOL. That will be moved in the next few days or next week uh, just in front of the boat and it'll be stored underneath us so it'll be nice and close together. Some of the additional works we're going to be doing on board, uh, we're going to be showing you through the coming weeks and months different videos but we've got quite a bit of electrical work to do. We had the technicians on board today to go through all the work lists that we have to have done. Servicing of the main engines. Uh, unfortunately we have to take off our starboard propeller because it's got some damage so that will be removed it'll be sent to the manufacturers uh, redesigned rebuilt and then it's still back on we need to service the main engines service the generators and flush the systems with uh, with fresh water the chase boat will have a full service as well uh, a few additional warranty works that we did uh, from last winter which is great and as you can see, what we've done to protect the teak, we put some carpet down uh, through the boat to so just to protect the teak for when the contractors are on board, they're not gonna, you know, be walking along all the, all the carpeting. So I'm gonna show you around quickly to show you what the boat's looking like now that we're all stowed away nicely in the winter. And as I mentioned in the previous video, what's really nice, like today, earlier, was absolutely bucketing down with rain. And because we're in the shed, we did a full wash down yesterday. It was a team wash down, the boat's nice and clean. So if we were still outside, the rain would have absolutely ruined our wash down. We'd have to do it all over again. So here you can see we put the protective carpeting down and then we'll go upstairs, make our way to the bridge deck aft. So we put the fenders here just temporarily so we can um, remove these, the old covers will get removed. The fenders will get properly cleaned and then stowed away and then uh, for next season we'll have new fender covers as we do every year. So looking nice and fresh for, for the season. These are some of the, these are the two SSB antennas that were taken off. This is actually half the antenna, actually twice this length. 
um, so we can come under the bridge. Again, check that video out. It'll show you us removing the, the radar mask. All the cushions, the exterior cushions, the seating can all be taken away. So you can see we've opened all the hatches, again, to get airings, not building up any kind of mold. We've got the, the life jackets in there. And again, this is one of the benefits of being inside is that in the winter, you couldn't normally do this because it would be raining. Whereas under here, you know, it's completely covered. We can do whatever we want. We can detail everything. So the boat's gonna be, again, 100% like it was earlier this year for next season. And then finally, we make our way to the sun deck. And so the sun deck's all, again, covered up. And then we're doing all types of things. So uh, we're gonna be doing, again, some light sanding, um, polishing on, on the paint. We had a few dust spots that we found, a bit of overspray that we found, and the paint company gonna sort all this out and fix it for us. <coughs> I want to show you again from up on the sun deck this beautiful classic uh, motor yacht. I think it's actually new, but it's built to look like a classic. You can imagine the upkeep of all the varnish. Uh, I'm guessing that's why they put it in storage for the winter because then it's uh, less work with the varnishing. So fair play to them. And then as you can see, we're missing um, the radar mask because I was taken off uh, on the previous video um, to be. Um, so we can fit under the bridge. So yeah, really excited to be here. It's the first time that we've been in this yard. So one of the other benefits as well is, um, you know, last winter there was a massive storm that came through, which actually sunk a number of, of beautiful yachts on the coast of Italy. And it, in, when you're here, you've got, you got really nothing to worry about. You know, you stowed away, the crew don't have to work on the weekends. So it's, uh, it's, it's, for me personally, I always prefer it. it prolongs the life of the paint, uh, prolongs the life of the, of the systems on board. You get to really work on the boat. You can work on the hull for the next six months we're in here for. And um, yeah, so it's just uh, very beneficial. This is obviously not suitable for all yachts because some of the yachts decide to do dual season, but we're a single season boat. So what does that mean in dual season? They'll do the med season in the summer and they'll be in the Caribbean for the, for the winter months. The other great thing is we need to lift our life rafts for our annual service soon. I'll do it on uh, uh, upcoming captain's vlog. I think we're doing it in January. But you can see the big yellow pillar there. That's actually a crane that comes all the way over the um, length of the hangar. And it's got a wire with a hook that goes all the way down to the ground. They'll bring it over, we'll wrap some straps around the life rafts and then we'll lift them up, put them onto the, onto the truck and the company will go and service them and uh, bring them back on board. And so it's all very, <coughs> not to say easy, but it's very um, convenient, all the work they're going to be doing. So as I mentioned a little earlier, we did a bit of damage on the propellers, which I'm going to show you now. Let's go this way a little bit. So you can see here, got a little ding here, a little ding there. It's on pretty much uh, all the blade, blades on the starboard side. It's unfortunate we had them just respun. Um, fortunately, it's not an expensive repair, and it can be done locally at Detra, who actually built the uh, the propellers. I actually did a special video about the propellers on board AWOL how we tuned them. If you haven't seen that video, I'll post another link here. So do check that video as well after this one, because uh, it's actually really interesting. The whole process of how they build the propellers is a great video. I really enjoy making it. So for the understand what we've got here, this big tank here, what this is for, this is for our gray and black water, in other words, for the sewage. So what happened is when we are using the bathrooms on board, when the tank gets to a certain level, we need to discharge. We discharge into this tank. They will come with their forklift and they'll take it and dispose of it empty and then they'll they'll bring it back then our garbage goes into this blue canister here this blue bin here so all our garbage will come in here and again they'll come daily or every second day with their forklift their forklifts and then go and dispose of of the garbage so you can see the underside of the hole actually looks really good the anti-fouling they applied did a really good job we just got to now clean the entirety of the um, of the hull once that's all clean and really well detailed. 
then we're going to apply a special ceramic coating which will prolong the life of the of the paint and make cleaning a lot easier stabilizers you can see still in good condition we've got a little bit of rust coming through here which is a bit of concern so what we're going to do is sand this back and have this reprimed and repainted so yeah so boats looking pretty good you see all the through hole fittings that we installed brand new last year still looking like brand spanking new so happy with that and then we'll have a quick look show you guys the bow thruster which we had um, prop speeded last winter you sort of see that even the um, the anodes and the prop looks really good and we'll check the other side quickly as well for you guys So there, there you have it. So that's the update here in the hangar on board uh, Motor Yacht AWOL, guys. So as always, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've got so much great content to coming uh, to the channel. I'm gonna show you all the work that's gonna be happening. Uh, if you like the video, do consider clicking that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done already, do consider subscribing because um, we've got some great videos, we've got some great content coming. And if you subscribe, you'll get notifications for the, um, for the new video. So make sure you hit that bell button as well. And we have some great Super Yacht Captain merchandise. So make sure you check out the merch shelf we have just below. And I look forward to seeing you guys next video. Before we go, this is the outside of the hangar. The car park. And then Pisa Airport is just there. You can see their radar tower there. So this is quite an industrial area. But uh, yeah, this is it. All right, guys. See you guys next video. Thank you.